welcome to this virtual tour brought to you by Hyper Lab today. Today we're going to bring you guys to Nepal, time traveling back to August 2015. Right now you guys can put on the goggles. So now everyone, okay, you will be turning around a little bit, so give yourself a little bit of space. If you want to adjust the focus. In this journey, I'll be guiding you guys from time to time using my cursor. Please put on your safety belt and we are now heading to Nepal. If you guys look at the picture on the left hand side, do you see the black color thing? Yes, water tank. Yes, correct, it's a water tank. Some of them actually have water donated by international agencies, but some of them are getting drinking water from this um, kind of water tank. It's not really safe for them to drink from there. So during our stay in Nepal, we actually heard a lot of personal stories. And today we actually invited some of them over here and talked to you guys. Raise your hand if you want to watch Chan Chan One, two, three, four. Five, six, okay, seven. We budget tira jai, abo supply students to school and giving different activity to free from this kind of trauma. Some other agencies also came here, Inter even the international NGO, INGOs also were involved. For That's the end of this tour. Okay. You can take off your goggles and take a break. Alright. All right. The questions you'll see will come in two parts. The top part over here is a questions where we'll be talking about the the part itself and the bottom part of the question is more about your experience, how you enjoy the experience. Okay, I think now we can move on to question three. What are some of the support Nepal has received from the international community? Uh, Red Cross. Red Cross? What what are they doing over there? Uh -huh. So there was like a banner and it said they got like tools like shovels yeah. and yeah. Like tacos. I liked how you can interact with everything inside it and how like when you're distracted by anything outside it. So it makes learning more fun and safe. What about you? Also, I like the part where um, you interviewed the people uh, so yeah. we could actually see how they felt after what 